as all of our lives have been impacted one way or another by COVID-19, um, I'm sure a lot of us, myself included, uh, eagerly anticipate and await uh, the ability to start getting back to a little bit more of a traditional norm. Like, it's getting kind of annoying. It just, it just is. Especially because, you know, movies are basically non-existent going to them. Are you really going to do that right now? You know, if you're in certain states and you have no brains, you might go to the beach, play Russian roulette with your life if you want. That's fine. Um, but sports being canceled and all of this, it's just not a fun time right now. Stuck at home a bunch without a lot to do and without a lot to talk about. Ugh, yikes. No, no fun indeed. Um, and I did a video a few weeks back talking about whether or not Vince McMahon should cancel WrestleMania. And at the time, I said he didn't have to yet, but might have to at some point. If not, Tampa was going to cancel it for him. Uh, but no reason to make a super rash decision, especially because, you know, there's a lot of things at stake. Like, it's a lot of money to that local economy that now, unfortunately, will not get there. There's... A lot of people that had plans, built their lives, their years around being able to go to WrestleMania that are not going to be able to. Like, there are a lot of factors at play here, and I certainly understand it. Um, but ultimately, the call was made uh, to not do WrestleMania in Raymond James Stadium, but still have WrestleMania. And WrestleMania this year, in a year that many of us are already telling to kick rocks between Kobe's passing to now COVID-19. Now it's just getting weird and surreal. We're going to have WrestleMania, but it's going to be in the Performance Center. It's going to be over two days, and there's going to be no fans. Am I missing anything? That's just weird. Now, do not get me wrong. Do not get me wrong here. We probably could use, all use some type of semblance of regular daily life right now. And having a WrestleMania in what other um, capacity we can is certainly probably better than not having a WrestleMania at all. Although I would still question the nature of wrestling and what you're dealing with with COVID-19, is it really wise to be asking these guys to work like this all the time in such close proximity where they're exchanging bodily fluids and, you know, not observing social distancing? It is what it is. I guess you can't live your life in there forever, right? But this is going to be weird. There's no NXT TakeOver show, I believe. There's no Hall of Fame ceremony. That might happen later in the year. Just a really weird vibe and a really, really weird weekend. They finally made the switch to go to two nights, which actually, on the one hand, is really good. Because it's too much show to have all in one day. And when you combine that with the fact that you have no other major sports to really go up against right now, you could be the only show in town for a couple of days. Like There are certainly worse things that could happen. Especially since you're running WrestleManias from last year on ESPN, I believe was it on Saturday or Sunday in the afternoon before WrestleMania at night. Um, so kind of a unique opportunity for WWE here. And we could use something to distract us from VR, something to talk about, something to rage about, something to enjoy, certainly. But it's going to be so weird, man. Like, Roman Reigns isn't wrestling because he's pulled out, because he's immunocompromised, and he doesn't want to put himself at risk, and I certainly understand that and respect the decision. You know, he has bigger fish to fry. He's a husband. He's a father, family man. Like, that should come first. That should always come first. And his personal health should also come first. So a guy that you're used to associating with big matches at WrestleMania main events and spotlight featured spots who was going to wrestle Goldberg for the belt now wasn't going to be there at all. Just weird, man.
And what's a WrestleMania nowadays without a huge stadium of 60 to 100,000 people? Now you're basically doing two nights of empty arena matches. And maybe for the truly passionate match marks that only care about the move sets, that is just fine. But for me, and I think for a lot of others, it's going to be really weird sitting there and watching me. It's one thing if you do this with a Raw or a SmackDown. But you're talking about WrestleMania. This is the biggest wrestling show of the year, bar none, period. And instead, you're basically getting a show that in a lot of ways is going to feel like a glorified empty arena Raw or empty performance center SmackDown. You get two days up. And, and unfortunately, not now because of this situation, they finally made the excuse to go to two days of WrestleMania. Makes me think that they'll never stop doing that. Which probably was designed all along. And it was an eventuality and probably a necessity. Or you could just not have so many damn matches on your show. But if this was the excuse to go to the two-day format for WrestleMania, arrr, it's just going to be really weird, though. Like, WrestleMania is a weekend. WrestleMania is an experience, and there's kind of like a crescendo and a build. Hall of Fame ceremony, takeover show, weekend hyping it up, rumors coming out, who could appear, who might be having their swan song in WWE, what belts could change, and da 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 While some of those conversations may still happen, even if you had somebody have a big comeback, have a big moment, how much is that really going to matter when there's no fan reaction to be able to feed into and create the environment and create the moment? When you have a big spot in a match or a big moment in a match or a big turn or something momentous or significant happening, you're going to get nothing. That sucks. And it's just going to be so weird. I can't imagine how much we're going to get on a botchamania coming up from guys talking too much during their matches because we're going to be able to hear everybody. Is it, is it really going to feel like WrestleMania without the ambiance and the environment that usually makes a show feel like WrestleMania? Like, this is almost going to be like the Chris Benoit of WrestleManias. If you really think about it, I know that's a horrible comparison, and especially coming on the heels of the Dark Side of the Ring uh, documentary, but what I mean by that is it feels like it's the WrestleMania that will happen and they put out there, and they're never really going to want to talk to or allude to or show any highlights of in the future. It's just going to be there. It exists, and that is it. And it still makes me wish almost that the company was delaying WrestleMania for a couple of months. Maybe do some other pay-per-views, but don't do WrestleMania like this. This is supposed to be the biggest show of the year. Like, God forbid, maybe you could even skip a WrestleMania if you really wanted to. Or you do WrestleMania in July, and you do SummerSlam in September, like you figure out other things. Maybe you just don't do them. I just worry that this is just going to be one big, weird weekend coming up. Like, how is this going to work? And admittedly, I've watched very little of the Raws and the Smackdowns the past few weeks as they've been filming them in empty arenas or in the Performance Center. I just, now you're talking about having to fill two, two days worth of shows. Now, granted... You know, in terms of wrestling, most all eyes will be on WWE, but it's just not the same. And maybe that's appropriate for the moment in time in which we're in. Nothing feels like it's the same, and therefore this is not the same. And it should be thankful that we have anything at all. And you know what? Honestly, I am. That doesn't mean that it's not going to be weird. That doesn't mean that I really worry about how well this show is really going to come across. That doesn't mean that I'm not going to worry that even if you have big moments, like let's say Drew McIntyre beats Brock Lesnar for the title. Let's say Braun Strowman beats Goldberg for the title. 
their first world title wins in WWE, and their reaction is silence! I mean, Ron deserves it, but nonetheless, it's just going to be weird. And maybe that's just me, because I'm not a move mark. I, I like the show aspect of wrestling. I like the entertainment aspect of wrestling. Some of you might say, well, why do you watch WWE? Well, and that's true. It doesn't give a whole lot of entertainment anymore. But still, WrestleMania can give you that big show feel. It's not going to do that this year. I'm just ready for a weird weekend. I know that much. Because it is going to be weird. It's going to be wacky. And ultimately, I would be surprised if it's a WrestleMania that we don't try to quickly forget about. Even if we think the show is really good.